Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to explain what is JDK, JRE and JVM. So let's start. When we start working on Java programs, the very first thing we do is to install our JDK. The full form of JDK is Java Development Kit and it is a software that comes with a Java compiler and a Java runtime environment that is JRE. Now the JRE consists of JVM, Java Virtual Machine and other APIs that are updated from time to time. The JVM uses JIT which is just in time compiler to compile the byte code into machine code efficiently. What are this you will get to know it later. To compile a Java code we need JDK but why? When we as a programmer write some code in Java we have to convert it into byte code that is dot class file because Java bytecode is what runs on machine so we will write our Java code that is dot Java file and the compiler will convert it into a bytecode that is dot class file this bytecode will run on machine but which machine the machine is Java virtual machine that is JVM if you have worked with C then you will know the compiler will convert the source code into machine understandable code that can be directly understood by the underlying machine. Here you can see the compiler for Windows will convert the app.c file into app.exe file and this app.exe file will only run on Windows and not on Mac or Linux. But this app.dmg file which the Mac compiler will compile into this app.dmg file will only run on Mac but not on Windows and Linux. So C is platform dependent. But when it comes to Java, the compiler converts the source code into bytecode, which is an intermediate code, that is the app.class file. And this intermediate code will run on any machine provided that JVM for that machine is installed in that system. As you can see for Windows, JVM for Windows needs to be installed. For Linux, JVM for Linux needs to be installed. And this bytecode will run on any machine. For a program to run, it needs an environment. In this case, it is JRE, that is Java Runtime Environment. As you can see, under JDK we have JRE. And JRE contains JVM and other files and development tools like Java C, Java, etc. In languages like C and C++, the runtime environment was provided by the underlying operating system like Windows or Mac and the machine code runs directly against the OS. But in case of Java, the JRE is like a duplicate or virtual operating system which interprets the bytecode or dot .class file on the underlying operating system. Now if we need some extra files libraries or classes that will be provided by our GRE, Java Runtime Environment, which in turn includes JVM. JVM is a part of GRE and if we don't have GRE, we won't have JVM. So GRE will contain extra files, check for errors, load our classes, validate our bytecode and other stuff. But finally our code will run on JVM, which will contain the just-in-time compiler. So JVM is what makes it platform independent. That is, it can execute Java code in any operating system and JRE, that is Java Runtime Environment, will provide the extra files and the environment to run our code. So the Java compiler, which comes with JDK, converts the source code into bytecode, that is .java file into .class file, after we have byte code, we need to get some space where we are going to run our code and this space is nothing but our JVM. Now why it is called virtual machine is because we already have a machine and to make it platform independent, we have a virtual machine on top of it. So irrespective of the OS such as Windows or Linux or Mac, as you can see JVM for Windows, JVM for Mac or JVM for Linux. The Java code will be executed if we have JVM on every machine. So when we install JDK, we will get an updated JRE and inside JRE, 
we will get an updated JVM and other APIs. Under JVM, we will get JIT, which is the just-in-time compiler. Just-in-time compiler translates the byte code into machine understandable code according to the operating system efficiently. Now what is left is the API. API comes under JRE, so JRE contains JVM and other files which includes APIs also. API stands for Application Programming Interface and it provides various ready to use predefined functions without knowing much details which are going on in the background. For example, we can use the Java IO library to read and write file and also we have the math library for mathematical calculations. Wrapping up the whole video, we can see that we have JDK that is Java Development Kit which includes JRE that is the Java Runtime Environment and JRE includes JVM and other files and also the development tools like Java C and Java C is the compiler. So, from this diagram you can see JDK has the compiler and the environment and this JRE will have JVM and other APIs and the JVM will have JIT. So that's it for the video. On the next video we will discuss the building blocks of Java application that is classes, variables, methods and blocks. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, like and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching my video. Have a nice day.